Well, it's a busy work site here today. We've got lots of stuff going on. We're trying to get as much done in a day as we can. So we've got our retaining walls going in down one side and our fencing. We've also got our garage going up. See what we showed you earlier. So, framing started with laying down the plates, building the walls. The second part of that is actually racking the walls and making sure that they're level and straight. So you can see, we've got the walls up. We, get, we rack them this way and this way. We brace them and then we use sheathing on the outside to hold that square. So that sheathing is now in place. It serves two purposes. It strengthens the building and it holds the walls dead square. We also make sure that once those walls are up, now that they're square this way, that they're leaning. They're not leaning. So we use these crisscross pieces to hold the walls up this way. So we have to rack it this way and then brace it this way. And that brace stays in place until the roof goes on and the roof's sheathed as well. Once the roof's on and secure, then the whole place is basically all held together by that sheathing. So you can see a lot of progress today. We've also landed the trusses here. These trusses are an engineered trusses that we've designed for this specific job. And they've dropped off this morning and ready to go up this afternoon once they have it all braced. I've also laid out the windows, the doors, and right now they're laying out, we're going to put two skylights in, so they're laying out our trusses so that we can put the skylights in the roof exactly where we want them to go. So, moving along, nice and quickly, and uh, you can also see our string line in as our fence moves down the property too. Okay, well welcome back. We're about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, you can see how much progress we've got done there. We've got walls up, sheathed, gable ends on. What we like to do is we have our we have our trust builders do what's called a reduced gable. And what that means is it's actually notched out by the height of a 2x4, so 3.5 inches. You can see how that's notched there. That allows us to run 2x4s out the end then attach our fascia to that. It's a stronger way to do it. Some guys just build a little frame and stick it right to the end of the gable and they don't reduce the gable. In this case, we've reduced it, makes it stronger. Not everybody does it that way. We like to do it that way. I just think it's a smarter and better way to do it. Costs no more money. So you can also see we've got our fencing going in, straight, and our retaining wall going in underneath there now. And underneath or beside that retaining wall, we'll put our drainage in, our perimeter drains. So today, retaining wall is in, uh, garage effectively framed, and just sheathing on the roof to come. That'll probably come next uh, Monday, and the roof will come on Tuesday. So we're on the way, and uh, show you some more as we move along at the end of the day today.